Hello, it's Teresa. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. In today's video, I'm sharing with you an outgoing swap for Maymay's folio swap that she's um, got going on right now. It's been a while since I've had an opportunity to participate in the swap, and this was a lot of fun uh, for me to prepare for. Now for the swap, Maymay came up with a design that we were to use for our folio base. She entitled it a three-page wonder, and it truly, truly is. If you haven't tried it yet, you need to go to her channel and check it out. I will link the video in the description box below. The tutorial is beyond simple. It is literally three pieces of eight and a half by 11 cardstock, no cutting, just a little scoring and gluing, um, add a couple magnets, and in five minutes, no joke, you will have your folio base ready uh, for decoration. So for the swap, we were to use the uh, folio base design and um, make two folios uh, for submission. And these are the two that I made. And I'm going to share them individually with you and go over some of the products that I use to make them. So for my first folio in honor of Christmas in July, I decided to go with a Christmas theme. I used this gorgeous paper collection from Cartabella simply called Christmas. And it is truly one of my favorites. It is so, the images are so beautiful. The colors are beautiful. The paper quality is excellent. And uh, one thing I can tell you about this three page wonder folio design is that one of these paper collections um, can make two folios with leftovers for cards and tags. So it's a great use of your paper. For the focal of my folio, I simply used a cut apart from the collection. And I back that on this die cut that I cut out of this gold shimmer paper. Um, I did use this die from Anna Griffin. And this one is from the mini um, Empress, or the Empress Mini embossing folder and cutting die set number three. This little deck the halls sentiment down here, it's just a sticker from the sticker sheet in the collection. I embellished with some bling from my stash. And this ribbon is from Joanne. I got it at Christmas time last year, and I think it's so pretty. And um, I'm hoping that they bring it back again this year. This folio measures six by eight and a half, and it has a quarter inch spine. This flap has a hidden magnetic closure. And when we open it up, so this section over here, um, this is an addition that I came up with. Um, it's not part of May May's tutorial, but if you'd like to see how I made it, let me know in the comments below and I'd be happy to do a tutorial for you. So this just flips open like this. It does have a hidden magnetic closure and I just wanted to increase the photo capacity of the uh, folio a little bit. So I, that's why I included that. thought it was just kind of fun and decorative. And then in this pocket we have, this is, um, it's actually a mini slimline envelope that I made, and um, I do have a tutorial on how to do that with your We Are Memory Keepers um, envelope punch board or your 123 punch board. Um, so I will link that in the description box below if you'd like to check it out. Um, inside, I have included some stickers and cut aparts from the collection so that the recipient has some things to decorate their folio with. Next, also to supplement um, the photo capacity, I made this little booklet. Opens up like this, left it blank, but uh, four by six photos will fit nicely inside and leave a nice black border. And then you've got space on the back for a photo. And there's even space on the front for a photo. I have matted this so that you would still see some of the decorative paper for you to place a four by six photo on top. Next, we've got this whole space for photos and decoration. And then this opens up like this and we've got more room for photos. This closes. And then this is actually an accordion fold that opens up like this. So quite a bit of room for photos for a folio with only a quarter inch spine. And then this just closes again with the hidden magnetic closure. This is the back of the folio. I just put a little sticker from the sticker sheet on there. And I think it turned out super cute. 
For my second folio, I decided to go with a fall theme. Um, I did it basically the same way that I did the previous one, but I'll show you the materials that I used. Use this lovely fall break collection by Stephen Duncan. It is a Cartabella collection, and again, just that nice heavyweight paper, lots of beautiful elements to work with. I really enjoy this collection. On the front, we've got this beautiful cut apart uh, from the collection that I use as my focal. I use that same Anna Griffin die um, cut out of glitter cardstock this time to back that and just give it a little bit of decorative detail. Um, I've got some ribbon from my stash. Let's see. This one is from Merchant 41. This is from Hobby Lobby and it looks like this. And I did distress with some Distress Oxide ink in Ground Espresso. Um, I, did, I distressed all of the papers as well as the ribbon. Now you might notice that there's some sparkle going along that you can see through the ribbon holes. Um, I used this gorgeous, it's like a rose gold color uh, glitter ribbon. And this is from Hobby Lobby. It is the Ribbon Boutique brand. And I just love this stuff. It's a non-shed glitter, and I just thought it was really a fun touch. This ribbon is called Cocoa Potter Gingham Ribbon. This is from Fun Stamper's Journey. And the bling you see along the bottom comes from Hunky Dory. They are the Shimmer Diamond Sparkles, and I love working with these. It is just a really cool effect. It's, it's um... It's shimmery, not too glittery, um, but I, I don't know how to describe them in person. They're really, really pretty. Now, if you can, I'm going to lift it up and see if you can see the sparkle on that. Love them. And I did put that bling on a sticker from the collection. And then the paper that you see behind is some coffee dyed paper that I made and um, just tore the top and inked the edge a little bit. I just thought that was kind of like a fun, rustic, fall looking accent that provided a little bit of different texture. Again, this has a hidden magnetic closure on that flap. And as we open it up, got the same base design inside, but doesn't it look different with just the different paper? That's what I love about uh, folios um, or mini albums, you know, in particular, just the choice of paper makes all the difference in, in the result. I made another one of those little flip outs for photos. This does have a hidden magnetic closure on it. And um, I just vary the size to accommodate whatever um, cut apart that I want to use. And then inside, this is my little four by six booklet for extra photos. And the mini slimline envelope that I decorated using um, a cut apart from the collection. I also stamped it with this like chicken wire stamp that I just thought was cool. I don't know, I, I wanted to use it. This is from Hot Off the Press and I purchased it at Paper Wishes. And again, inside it is full of stickers and some cut aparts from the collection for the recipient to decorate their folio with. This page opens up like this. And then you've got your accordion fold that goes this way. I really love the way these came out and I hope my recipient enjoys them too. I can't wait to see what I get back in my swap and share it with you. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and if you did, please remember to like, subscribe, and share with a friend. Also, click the notification bell so that you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Until then, bye!